so today's video is about fibonacci did you get it yeah that's in short you can call it fib you can call it fib do you get it yeah it's a it's a, it's a tool it's a technical tool used for taking entry do you get it i think that's the last criteria that you have to look when taking an entry when taking a tree do you get it yes fibonacci is best used for taking entry like picking entry in the market so what at all is fibonacci fibonacci is a tool that helps you to know um possible entry points or possible reversal points on the chart do you get it possible reversal points on the chart so um for example let's say price is rising price is rising there will be a pullback small like for example when price is rising up price is trending up it won't it won't rise up at once like this do you get it it will go like this come down go like this come down go like this come down go like this this is how an uptrend looks like do you get it so um how are you going to do how are you going to know that when price get to this point it will pull back to this level before it will buy do you get it how are you going to know that price will not go further but price will buy from this point how are you going to know you are going to use the fib tool to measure and also when price was rising price got here price reversed but when price got here price rose up that one too how are you going to know that price is going to bounce from this level that one too you can detect with the help of fibonacci example when price is moving up price will pull back this pullback we call it retracement this pullback we call it retracement and price will continue in an upwards direction do you get it so fibonacci levels are levels that will tell you possible pullback levels that's places that places that price is likely to reverse from when retracing that's all about a fib tool so it will help you to know places that price um is capable of reversing from whenever price get there so price started from this area drops more this area drops more this area drops more so when price got to this level price retraces that pullback is called retracement do you get it price retraces to that level and when price got to this level price started buying so how will you know that price will pull back to this level and price will buy how are you going to know so you are going to know with the help of the fibonacci tool do you get it you are going to know with the help of fibonacci too in the same way in reverse when price is falling price will go up for go up for when price um got here there was a pullback to this level how are you going to know that price is going to reverse at this point and continue it downwards direction what at all is supporting this area that's with the help of fib two you're going to know places on the chart that price is capable of reversing to or price capable of pulling back to are you getting it so um when dealing with fib we have a lot of fib levels we have 23.6 sorry 0.6 we have 23.6 yeah we have 38.2 or some yeah and we have 50.0 we have 50.0 and also um we have um 61.8 so um this video our focus is going to be on 50.0 and 61.8 when using fib2 these are the strongest fibonacci retracement levels these are the strongest fibonacci retracement levels that you have to use and um, that you have to you have to focus on do you get it that's 50 fib level and 61 fib level they are the strongest fib um levels that you have to focus on when using the fib tool do you get it so let's switch it to our charts 
and um, look at some examples and know how to um, deal with them so looking at this one price started from here price got here and there was a pullback did you get it price got here there was a pullback and a buy so how will you know that this pullback will end here and it won't continue on further but it will buy from this point how are you going to do you are going to know with the help of FIP. this one price was buying and it was retracing so you will be expecting a buy do you get it so if you were expecting a buy you start the plotting from where the trend started the trend started here you start the plotting at this area at this area and you end at where the retracement um, started see you um you start the drawing from where the trend started and end at where the retracement started so example i'll go to my tool and i'll select my fifth tool start the drawing from the bottom to the top so you just bottom to the top after that you adjust the tool make sure you place it at the last week of where the trend started you see the trend started at this area that's the last week it's exactly on the last um is, is exactly on the low of where the trend started you get it and the, this one too i'll place at where the pullback started here so the pullback started at this area so i'll place it there i'll place it at that area so price was retracing when price go to 50 fibonacci level see we are 23.6 38.2 50.0 to 1.8 so when price go to 50.0 price reversed from that place price reversed from that place did you get it so this one 50 fibonacci level held you see i was telling you that always focus on 50 and this is to 1.8 and also when we are dealing with this trend price got here price moved all the way from this level to this level price came down and price moved up so we here was where the pullback started so we are going to adjust to that place so when price rose to this place there was a pullback and that pullback landed exactly on the 61.8 that pullback landed sorry that pullback landed exactly on the 61.8 and when price reached 61.8 price rose up that's the power of the fibonacci tool so let's look at more examples on the chart let's look at more examples on the chart okay so um let's focus on this one price move from this point to this level when price got here they, there was a pullback up to this level and price rose up so how will you know that this pullback won't go further but it will reverse from this place so um you take your fifth two start from where the trend started you end at where the pullback started the trend started at this level the pullback started at this level did you get it yes and you can see that when price hit 61.8 price started buying price started buying so always focus on 61.8 and 50 fib level um i'm going to do um different video about um fib 2 and i'll post it here and i'll post it here again so this one to the trend started from here got to this level retreats and started buying so when price started moving from here 